Hi, I'd like to teach you two unusual expressions that we use when socializing because when we socialize we often speak about ourselves and we ask the other person questions but in English certain uh, expressions are rather unusual compared to other languages and these are the two expressions I'd like to teach you. This is Susan Broder from Speak Languages and Travel the World here to help you improve your English with minimum effort and maximum benefit. So the first expression I'd like to teach you regarding socializing is when you speak about um, meeting people and getting to know people. So very often you say, oh Tom, um, and you want to know when uh, this person um, met or got to know Tom. So um, very often we use the word no. But a no in English is different from no in other languages. So, for example, uh, I know Tom, and another person might ask, Oh, when did you know him? Uh, that's absolutely not possible in English, nor can you answer, Oh, I knew him when I went to school. It doesn't work that way in English. So, no is something that has to be transformed depending on what you intend. So, what you mean is, when did you first get to know him, which isn't even correct in English. Uh, so the best expression to use is, when did you first meet him? So no is now transformed into meet, but not so much as meeting, but it's the first time you met him in the sense of you never knew him before then. And so we ask, when did you meet him? When did you meet Tom? And the answer could be, well, I met him when I was at school. And that's a way of saying it's the very first time. You can also say, I've known Tom, but I don't know him very well. I'd like to get to know him better. And that's a different way of uh, speaking about no, because it's wanting to understand his character, uh, which is very different from the very first time you met him. So you have to pay attention to that. You can't say, when did you first know uh, Tom? You have to say, when did you first meet Tom? When did you meet Tom? Well, I met him um, three years ago. And you can also ask, though, how long have you known Tom? And then you can answer, well, I've known him for three years. I met him when I was, I don't know, at university, for example. So, how long have you known Tom is a very good expression. Uh, I've known him for a long time, uh, but we met or we first met at school. Okay, so no is often transformed into met when you're speaking about uh, the, the past, the very first time you uh, met this person. The second uh, expression I wanted to uh, explain to you was uh, when uh, we were born. So um, in many languages you don't say when were you born, which is uh, something in the past, but in many languages people say when are you born. Now in English you can't do that because actually it's a different point of view. In uh, the languages where you use it in the present tense, you're thinking of you coming out into this world. So you are born, let's say. But in English we don't do that. We don't think of uh, the baby coming out, but we think of the mother pushing the baby out. So it's a passive form and you were born from your mother. And so that's why we use the passive when were you born or she was born at home, he was born in Nigeria. Um, we use this expression uh, in the past and so it's not correct to say when are you born, okay? I just wanted to explain this because many people are confused of why we have to use the past. Uh, okay, so perhaps in the comments below you could add some sentences using these two expressions or three actually. So when were you born, where were you born, etc. And how long have you known Tom? And uh, when did you meet him? How long have you been friends? And uh, uh, just say, yes, I met him when I was a child. And I hope that's all for you. Now I've got the sun blazing in my eyes, so I better stop. Bye! And don't forget to subscribe. Bye-bye!